It's an explosive video and it's right here from our nine news investigators. Good evening to your friends. Greg and Liz here with you. The Baton Rouge police have now launched an investigation after a report by our WFBI team and the dean of school students at a local school. He's accused of giving money to a student in exchange for racy photos. And when the girl's mom went to confront him, things got very heated. All of it caught on video. Now she's speaking only to nine news and our lead investigator, Scotty Hunter. Scotty. Well, guys, the I-Team broke the story this morning by showing you this confrontation. Now we want to show you the text messages that led to it all and left that mom fuming. Emotions running hot as a mother confronts Corey Nash, the dean of students at her daughter's school, claiming Nash has been sending X-rated messages to the teenage girl for months. The mother, Rainisha Cummings, went through her daughter's phone this week and says she discovered Nash, an administrator at Second Chance Academy, was on the other end of these explicit messages. What went through your mind when you saw that? I was angry. Those messages include this one where he appears to ask the girl what she needs, then asks, does he get something in return? When she responds money for food, he replies saying how much and what do I get? Later, the girl asks for money and Nash appears to ask why she only texts him for money. Then he complains that he cannot touch her. The WAFBI team called the same phone on these text messages and Nash answered and identified himself. Are you nervous about how far this would go if you hadn't have found this? Yeah. I don't play behind my kids. No one should. Here's a record of the payments Cummings says her daughter got for $300 here and $600 there. The mother says she knew something was not right when her daughter suddenly had extra cash. Then Cummings tells me she saw the text messages where she says Nash offered to send the money. It's more of uh, send me pictures of your body. I'll send you cash. Her daughter is now 17, but Cummings claims she was 16 when the messages started back in April. While she says her daughter was also wrong in the situation, she says Nash is the adult and should have never done something like this. Cummings went up to the school yesterday to confront Nash with her daughter recording the encounter. And Nash admits on camera that he did send the messages before trying to excuse his actions. The mom brought a friend with her to confront Nash, and at one point you can hear that man ask the administrator specifically about some of the vulgar messages, which again, Nash does not deny. Take the joke too far. That was a stupid joke and wrong, irresponsible joke. Never was gonna put my hands on, never do. At one point, the administrator even addresses the student directly to prove he never touched her. Never put my hands on, never touched her. And she didn't take it in. Did I touch you? I put my hands on when? No, but you tried. Don't be stupid. When I tried? When everybody was outside. When I tried? You said, and, can I touch you? And what you said, no. And I said, okay, good. And I, and I started laughing. I went laughing. At this point in the encounter, the mother says she lost it. I, I, but you just told me. But, I, 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 I was not going to put my hands on. Why I try to cut it off? That was a joke. I just went irate right then because I know he was going to tell me that was a lie. As talking to him, he told me everything was a joke. You don't joke with kids like that. While she admits she did lose her cool, Cummings tells me she is heartbroken and outraged that someone in charge of her child's education would do something to violate her trust. While she believes nothing sexual ever happened between Nash and her daughter, she's already gone to the police and wants something done. I will not stop until he shut down. It needs to stop. Perhaps what's most shocking is that throughout the confrontation caught on camera, Nash never denies his actions, but simply makes one excuse after another. You should have known better about that. It was a bad joke. It should have been joked on like, but never put my How hands on it. Never, never, never put my hands on it. Continuous jokes. Stupid jokes on it. Never put my hands on it. Never touched it. Are you hoping that he faces some kind of jail time behind this? Yes. Yes. All right, so that administrator that you saw there saying it was a joke. Scotty, actually, you talked to him this morning. What did he have to say? Yeah, I spoke with him. He didn't want to go into detail about those text messages or exactly what happened. He did, though, tell me that he was getting an attorney and that he would sit down and do an interview with us either today or tomorrow. It didn't happen today. We are still open for it, so we'll see if it does actually happen. All right, he's got plenty to say. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate yep. it.